Wonder Park? Yes, let's talk about Wonder Park, which is a new animation from uh, Paramount and Nickelodeon. Uh, it's a story about a young girl uh, who visits a theme park inside her head. Um, her name's June. She's voiced by a young actress called Brianna Densky. And she spent the last few years of her life uh, building uh, at home with her mother out of cardboard and string and all these kind of amazing craft materials, this sprawling imaginary theme park called Wonderland, which mm. is operated by uh, her cuddly toys. But then her mother uh, has to go to hospital for something that grown-ups in the audience are very gently given to understand is fairly nasty form of cancer. And mm. she's left at home uh, with her father, uh, who's voiced by Matthew Broderick, the Wonderland project is abandoned and then swept away. Uh, she loses her kind of vigour and enthusiasm for life. And so the father packs her off to uh, maths camp for the summer. On the way to maths camp, June runs away and stumbles across in the forest a real-life, full-scale version of the park she and her mother had imagined in a state of total disrepair. Um, and so she bumps into, again, real-life versions of her toys who used to run the park, who are now spending their whole time fleeing this invasion of formerly cuddly mascots uh, called chimpan zombies. And here they are in the process of doing just that. We can't keep up. Boomer the Welcome Bear? <laughs> Run for your life! Oh, Robert! Get moving, Pinsley! What's going on? Why are we chasing Boomer? Oh, we're not chasing him! They're chasing us! Knock that awning down. I'm on it. Cooper, start the pump. Yep. Steve? I'll draft up an exit plan. You're the bait. Yeah, of course I am. Baiting away. Boomer, you protect her with your life. Uh, hey, uh, Boomer, uh, what, what is going on around here? What does it look like? A no! pan zombies. Over here. Dinner is served. Uh, oh, no, I've dropped it. I dropped it and I left it. Locked and loaded. Skipping to safety! Skipping to safety! I'm almost out of danger! So cute! But so naughty! World class bait. Okay, so that pretty ably captures the tone of it. I mean, I mean, you know, obviously what she's got to do now is work with her toys to get the park running, you know, back up mm -hmm. to, to spec again. And I remember, you know, when Inside Out was released um, a few years ago, I remember kind of seeing that film and thinking this is actually a little bit like Pixar's version of Spirited Away in that it's taking this tumultuous time in a young girl's life and mapping her inner turmoil onto this kind of fantastical journey across really weird, absurd landscapes and, and you know, making it kind of very vivid and appreciable what she's going through by stretching out and putting it into, the, into this kind of fantastical world. Now, it's a stretch to say that Wonder Park is like Nickelodeon's version of Inside Out. But it's a kind of, it gives you a sort of an idea of what the film is going for. Yeah. Ultimately, it's far, far more simple than than either Inside Out or Spirited Away. It's, it's, it's purely about her rediscovering her sense of hope and her sense of creativity that she's lost by her mother kind of um, having to go into hospital. And that premise is actually, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's fairly straightforward, but it's, 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 it's very interesting that it's, it sparks with a lot of potential. Um, unfortunately, the way in which the film has been made is it comes up with these sort of Willy Wonka style set pieces around the park. So she and the animals will go to uh, one ride and they'll try and repair it. You know, it will be this kind of enormous thing that's throwing uh, orbs around the park that you'll sit in the orb and, you know, bounce around and end up at the other side. Or yeah. it'll be like a big river of fireworks and it will be all very spectacular. Uh, or an anti-gravity room full of balloons. So there's all these individual episodes that are actually really well, uh, cleverly thought up. But the through line isn't there. And so it's just like this kind of series of scrapes rather than something with real emotional purchase. I also think part of the problem is the voice cast has been heavily localised for the UK. So you have Boomer the Welcome Bear, as mentioned there, is, um, is voiced by Tom Baker in the UK release. And these two uh, Beaver brothers who are always feuding are voiced by uh, Joe Sugg and Casper Lee, the two YouTubers. Now, when you do this, if you do it a lot, there the becomes this kind of weird sort of ventriloquist dummy disconnect between the dialogue you're listening to and, and, and the voice movements, which are of course always, the, yeah. the mouth movements are always modelled on the original American cast recording. And because this film How does it so much... Yeah, right, exactly, because they have reference footage from, from, from the booth. So there's, there's a kind of a... The, the animation doesn't quite kind of come together in, in that way. I mean, there's, at one point, Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langham turn up uh, as, as, um, as June's aunt and uncle. You can think, this has just gone too far. It's Eamon Holmes and Ruth, Ruth Lang. And this is, you know, it's, it's not kind Why of ringing true need anymore. Why do you to do that? Purely so that it's got more of a, a local appeal, I suppose. And they'll do this in every territory. You know, there will be TV personalities, YouTubers, um, who will speak to the, the target audience um, that will just kind of give it more of a sense of relevance. So for me, it stands as a really interesting compare and contrast with Missing Link. 
because the original, the core idea is so appealing, but the execution is not there. Mm. Whereas with Missing Link, you have this very, very straightforward story, but the craftsmanship is much superior. I would far, far rather see the latter. Okay. Although this is fine-ish. 